here's an interesting looking chute. Looks like the tracks would have gone right up onto the top of that. They've been cut off now. Oh, well, that's actually a screen too. Interesting. So the portal's over here. It's timbered heavily and track coming out of it. Hello YouTube mine lovers. Tom and Julie here. Looks like a nice mine portal right in front of us here. Some pretty heavy duty tracks coming out of it and heavy duty timbering. Julie's already in. Heavy duty timbering right at the portal. All right, that's looking back at the portal we just came through. Kind of a nice one with the traditional timbering. Let's go this way. Follow Miss Julie. We don't have any idea what to expect in here. And we've never been in this one before. It's straight as an arrow to start with, which leads me to believe they're trying to intersect something, or it's a haulage from something higher up. Okay, I'm back. Here we lose the tracks. I was waiting for something to happen because who wants to go through a boring haulage at it with nothing happening? Here the tracks ended. And here are the ties end. And it's getting a little lower. Looks like something's happening up here. An intersection, the greasy, greasy intersection. Wow. Hmm, a huge tank of something. Bunch of shoots. Wow. This is different, isn't it? Yeah. Boy, the strong smell of grease and oil right here. That is a big tank, too. That's got to be, I don't know, big. Look at that. Oh, gosh. Okay, all right, we decided upon the right first. Of course there's a ladder up there. This vein has obviously got a pretty sharp angle to it. 45 anyway, where, right where we are. So look at the back side of the chute they used. Uh, like a nail hole or something to to use for a um, load count. Kind of neat. All right, Julie, let's keep moving. Here's a couple more shoots here. I think this is all just one big stope along this this uh, vein, and as you can see, the angle of it versus a traditional drift. Here we're picking up the tracks again. A lot of boxes and supplies right here for some reason. Oh man, that goes that way too. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, let's take the left to follow the tracks. Wow, huh? Yeah. Very greasy smelling. Hold on a second. That might not go far, or it may loop around the other side. This doesn't look like it goes real far. Well, 
I'll also take a peek while I'm here. You know, this just ends right here. A lot of big stalls and stope. The stope goes up at the angle of the of the vein. All right, back to the where we were in the main line here. We left a huge pillar up there. A lot of miners' junk, cable, and so this ends at a chute. Right there. This looks like a uh, an anchor that would go into rock, and you would thread it in, and it would tighten itself up. There's a there's a loop on the other end of it. Onward. A little pocket to the left. No track in this particular piece. See here again, I think they were trying to intersect something because there's no vein here. Hmm. Well, it's going to end at something, I got a feeling. Maybe a big shoot. That's my guess. I feel like we're going in a circle. Huh. What the heck? Something's got to happen one of these days. Hey, hold on now. We haven't been here before, have we? No. This ends over there. Looks like. Ouch. Okay, we came from that way. Big blocker of some court sort. Emergency accident. What do you see? Of course. Boy, this is a real maze in here. Wow. What a crazy mine. Well, here they found the vein again. They left a few pillars. And this is looking down. It's about a 45 degree angle. You can see from, this is level. There's a pipe down in there. Does that pipe come up over there? Oh yeah, there's the end of that pipe. 
Wow. That is a nut. Ouch. Wow, what a maze. There's a ladder system going up this way. It's just going up into this stope, I believe. And then let's look over here. Another one going down here. Oh boy, you could have all kinds of fun in here, couldn't you? Yeah. There's some cribbing holding some waste. This crazy mine. Look at all the little short stalls. I gotta say, it must have been handy if you were small, if you wanted to be a miner. Those are about three feet at the most. And that's the end of it. What's down here? Anything? This ladder is just sitting here, it's not mounted. It's steeper than it looks down here. <laughs> there's a big hole in front of me. I might not be able to get back up there. I don't use this. It's steeper than it looks here. It's always steeper than it looks. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's a big hole over huh? here. I'm showing where that hole is over there. Well, that's up there where Julie is. I just came down this little part here. It says exit, but when you look down here, I wouldn't take this next ladder without a without a rope because it's just sitting there. And then it goes down below that quite a ways. Although this this thing right here could be an exit. That looks like it goes over that way. But I'm not going to go down this thing. That's just sitting there. And straight down, probably 60 feet. This ladder is about 15 feet. So, back up I go, and let's go mo explore more of this mine. There's a box that says Robert Shaw. There's an old pair of work gloves. Some nice galvanized nails. I can always use a nail. Uh, some other miscellaneous stuff. A piece of... piece of drill steel. Another box. Gas pressure regulator. What are you doing with gas in here? All right, let's go. We should be headed back to that big tank. This is a huge area. All right, here's where we came in from the left here. These can get turned around on this piece. Here's this big tank. Uh, I don't know what this was or is. It looks to be dry in there now. This uh, attic goes straight ahead there. And it goes down pretty good. And there's another, another tank to the right here. Some plumbing. 
There's that big tank and then the portal in the background. Let's go straight ahead and see if it goes anywhere. As long as we're here, might as well check it out. I'm getting worn out. So there's a little short ladder here with that little writing from one friend to another deceased friend. I hope this isn't where he died. There's a rope, a small rope, that goes all the way up this, looks like an ore pass, with just a short ladder at the end, so, so I don't know if the uh, guy wasn't very old though. 04, 14, 15, 21. Okay, looks like there are some sample bags here. They're labeled. Uh, there's nothing on it. Okay. Then it's not, okay. not going to tell us anything. Oh. Somebody brought a string in here. They were worried about getting lost. Which, you could kind of get turned around here. Well, a lot of simple bags. Some different stuff. Huh, I wonder where this goes. This has a little different feel to it. I imagine it's going to intersect that same 45 degree angled vein that we've been running around on all day. Oh, yeah? Yep. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. So they never did intersect that other, other vein. Well, it's the... I don't know. But that's mm -hmm. the face of this thing. Let's see what this burlap sack says. If you don't mind. Without getting too much rat poop on you. Very large tank. So it's got to be what about? Oh, I don't know. That's a. F That's got to be a few hundred gallons, anyway, right? Yeah. It's probably 12 or 15 feet long. There's that crazy spot. There's the rest of this crazy mine. We're getting our exercise anyway. You don't need to do a stair stepper when you're a mine ladder climber. This might be the kind of stuff they're looking at. Yeah. 